A recent discovery in the field of astronomy has left everyone very puzzled. Astronomers have stumbled upon a ring around a minor planet named Quawar. But the ring is at a distance where simple gravitational calculations suggest that there should be in fact none. Actually, the ring that has been discovered is so far from the Roche limit that it should have instead coalesced into a moon. This unique discovery might force the scientists to relook at the laws governing planetary rings. In this video, we will talk about this minor planet that is Quawar, besides explaining how this ring was discovered, why is it so far away and eventually what would this mean. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. Quawar is a little less than half the diameter of Pluto and about one third of the diameter of Earth's moon. It is located in the Kuiper belt at the solar system's edge and is likely to be big enough to qualify as a dwarf planet. But at this time, its classification of being a dwarf planet is shrouded in hesitancy because images taken by even the most powerful telescopes have revealed it as just an indistinct blob. The ring that has been discovered is actually not visible in telescope images. Rather, astronomers found it indirectly when distant stars happened to pass behind Quawar, blocking the starlight. Scientists studied stellar occultations, which basically occur when an object passes in front of another from an observer's perspective. This phenomenon, which rarely occurs, is used by researchers to analyze a planet's atmosphere and determine if it has a ring around it. Earlier in 1977, scientists had discovered the Uranian ring system with the help of stellar occultation. This time, during their observation, they found a dip in brightness as Quawar blocked light from a background star. Additionally, they found two more dips. The two dips were on either side of the main dip caused by Quawar. So this meant there must be a ring system surrounding it. This discovery was unusual for certain reasons. First, only Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune and two other minor planets, Cariclo and Haumea are known to possess rings. Secondly, and this is the most interesting part of the discovery. The rings of Quawar are positioned at a distance of over seven planetary red eye, much further away from other planets that possess rings. Saturn's main rings, in contrast, are found within three planetary red eye. The ring of Quawar lies far away from the Roche limit, a mathematically determined distance beyond which rings are not supposed to exist. Located 2500 miles away from the minor planet, this ring is around 1400 miles further away from the Roche limit as per the calculations of the scientists. This suggests that at such a distance, the particles of the ring should have come together to form a moon. Let's understand the Roche limit more clearly. The Earth's gravity pulls on the moon. However, one side of the moon is closer to the planet and hence the pull is stronger on the side facing the Earth. The result is the so-called tidal force, which either stretches or compresses the moon from all sides. What helps the moon keep it together is its own gravity. It essentially counteracts the effect of the tidal force. But if you bring the moon closer to the Earth, the tidal force will overcome the satellite's gravity and then disintegrate it, turning the moon into a ring. The minimum distance at which this happens is known as the Roche limit. As of now, nobody exactly knows how Quawar's rings has managed to remain stable at such a distance from the Roche limit. The researchers of the study have said that there can be a variety of possible explanations, but they are not very sure about any one of them. It might also be possible that Quawar's moon, Waywat, or some other unseen moon might have contributed gravity that somehow holds the ring stable. Another potential explanation can be that the particles of the ring are colliding with each other in such a way that they are avoiding to coalesce into a moon. But no concrete explanations have been yet put forward. This discovery demonstrates how much remains to be still learned about rings and that many more are likely to be discovered around the small bodies in the outer solar system. Our understanding of such issues is still a lot to evolve. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.